More than 2,800 West Australian babies are being put at risk of long-term health problems each year after they were born by caesarean section too early without a medical reason. That's according to a new report from the Australian Commission on Safety and Equality in Healthcare. Let's bring in fertility specialist and gynaecologist Dr Tamara Hunter to explain the report. Thanks for your time today, Tamara. Yeah, thanks, Monica. WA has one of the highest elective caesarean rates in the country. What should we make of that? Is, is it a concern? Look, it's a really good question. Um, what you're referring to is a report by the Australian Commission into the safety and quality of healthcare. And they looked at a number of different areas, everything from orthopaedics uh, right through to obstetrics and, um, and uh, delivery. And what they found is between sort of 40 and 50% of planned elective caesarean sections happening before 39 weeks of gestation, 40 weeks is considered to be a term baby, uh, where there was no obvious medical or obstetric reason. And in fact, 13 to 19% of planned caesarean sections uh, were we, happening before 37 weeks uh, didn't have an obvious medical or obstetric indication. So this has certainly raised some interest. All right, well, talk us through the risks of preterm birth before 39 weeks. So I think it's important to get the definitions right. Um, early term delivery between 37 and 39 weeks, there is some suggestion that there is an increased rate of learning and developmental uh, difficulties right through school-aged children. Now, we also have a high rate of planned C-sections even earlier. What are your concerns around that? Look, I think birth of a baby before 37 weeks uh, of gestation, whether it be via caesarean delivery or um, by, by vaginal delivery, uh, is of concern. And, and there's lots of reasons why it can happen. It can happen due to medical issues associated with the mother. We certainly know obesity, for example, is associated with increased preterm birth. It can be due to problems associated with the baby itself. So to ensure um, that the health of the baby um, is sometimes better out than in. Um, we even know that IVF, for example, uh, is associated with, with pre increased preterm birth rates. So there are uh, lots of varied reasons, Monica. If you could tightly sum it up, what needs to be reviewed? Look, the Commission has come up, the report has come up with some recommendations. These are not my recommendations, certainly that's not my area of expertise, but we do need to be looking at the planning and the protocols uh, around um, pregnancy management and also uh, planning for delivery. Um, the suggestions around uh, increased information for consumers, mothers, fathers, around the effects of preterm birth. Uh, perhaps other stakeholders, um, some recommendations for the funding agencies, Medicare and also private health. Um, and certainly better registries, better record keeping of uh, the reasons that why deliveries happen in certain ways as they do. Dr Tamara Hunter, appreciate your insight. Thanks. Thanks, Monica.